Now go to St. Peter's Square where our very own Susan Ormiston is standing by. She was there as the Angelus was delivered earlier this morning. Uh, good morning to you, Susan. Tell us about the mood at St. Peter's Square. It was a massive crowd, probably one of the largest we've seen. It's Sunday, of course. People are off work. And there's an immense curiosity here in Italy about this new pope. He is really setting his stamp, his personal stamp on this papacy. He came out. He delivered the Angelus prayer. It was about God's compassion. The crowd of hundreds of thousands was completely silent. And afterward, when I spoke to many people, they expressed how they believe that this pope will change the temperature of the church, the tone, that he's more accessible, that he speaks off the cuff, he goes off the text, he makes jokes. We saw that yesterday and today. So they're feeling that this is a very approachable pope, that he's putting his message on humility and the poor and the simplicity of the church. So all this that you see behind me and all the pomp and circumstance and pageantry we've seen with the departure of Benedict, he's saying let's bring the church back to something more simple and it is resonating amongst Catholics. Well, I have to say, as you talk about being an off-the-cuff pope, and I'm sure to the consternation of Vatican security, we saw another example of that earlier today. Tell us about that, Susan. Well, he had held a mass in a parish church inside the Vatican, Santa Ana, uh, as he normally would. But it's inside Vatican, so it's not public. But when he finished that mass earlier this morning, he did a walkabout. Much like the Queen or in the early days of uh, Pope John Paul II, he went out, shook hands, traveled along the corridors of people, surprising people. You could see their bewilderment on their faces. Again, you know, glad handing, uh, touching people, uh, being there for them. Of course, his background, he's done a lot of parish type ministry uh, in Argentina. This is where he came from. He's very comfortable doing it, and he's clearly trying to replicate that here. Now, all of this is very good for Catholics. They're really embracing this. But those who aren't as enamored with the Catholic Church currently, who weren't in this square, are still waiting for answers from this pope about whether he will reform the church, whether he will tackle the curia, whether he will include women in more senior roles, what he will say about human sexuality, all these very important divisive issues and how he will heal the wounds still of clerical sexual abuse. We haven't heard anything from Pope Francis yet about that. That will come in major addresses to Catholics. But for now, he's saying the door is open again to the church, Pray for me, he had his first tweet today saying he thanked his Catholic brethren from the bottom of his heart and asked them to pray for him. Of course, on Tuesday, he will be formally installed as the Pope, the 266th Pontiff of the Catholic Church, and world leaders, including Canada's Governor General, are flying in right now. Okay, Susan, thank you for that.